Good morning, mathematicians. Today is Thursday, April 9th, 2020, and I can't believe that we've made it to the end of our fourth week of remote learning. So today is day 19, and remember that we do not have school tomorrow. So tomorrow starts spring break, so try to relax and enjoy time with your loved ones and um, just recharge your batteries. So for today, you're going to pick the last problem from the week four warm-up. So you should have all four of those problems done. And today we're going to finish up with 10-3, multiply a fraction by a whole number. And your assignment for today is to do page 559, numbers 1 through 15, and just the odd problems. So let's go ahead and get started. I'm going to adjust my camera a bit. Okay, that looks pretty good. So today we're in the homework section, so let's take a look at the another look. And um, I really love what this speech bubble is saying. So when all the groups are the same size, you can multiply to find the total. So multiplication is a more efficient way of doing repeated addition. So let's take a look at this example. Maria swims three-fifths mile across the lake and another three-fifths mile back. How far did Maria swim? So remember, if you're going up and back, you're going to have to double it. So if you look at the fraction pieces, you've got this one-fifth, one-fifth, and one-fifth. So the pink is her trip across the lake and then the green asterisks are her trip back. So you can see it took three-fifths to get across the lake and then three-fifths to get back. So in all she had to swim three-fifths two times. So here they've got two times three-fifths which what we've been working on for the last couple days, you can rewrite as two times three over the denominator of five, which equals six fifths. So you guys should be pretty good now about how they got the mixed number of one and one fifth from six fifths, but let's go ahead and review that. So six fifths, I'm going to see how many one holes I can make. So five fifths is one hole, and I have six fifths, so that leaves, leaves me with one fifth left over. So I'm going to go ahead and circle all of my whole numbers, and I'm going to write that as the whole number of one, and then the fraction piece I'm just going to stick right next to it. So six fifths can be rewritten as one and one fifth, and that is my final answer. So let's take a look at this top section. So remember, you just have to do the odd problems. So you're going to do 1, 3, 5, 7, 9, 11, 13, and 15. So 13 and 15 are down here. So you just have to do the circle ones. Of course, if you want more practice, you're more than welcome to do all of them, but for the assignments that you have to turn in, we are just going to be looking at the odd problems. So let's go ahead and take a look at number one. So I have eight times five twelfths. So that would be eight times five over 12. Eight times five is 40. So that would be 40 twelfths. So I'm going to skip count 
by 12s to see how close I can get to 40. And I have a little bit of room up here, so I'm going to use this space. So I've got 12, 24, and then 36, and that is as close as I'm going to get. So that would be 1, 2, 3. So that would be 12 twelfths plus 12 twelfths plus 12 twelfths, which gets me to 36, and then I would need four more to get to 40. 37, 38, 39, 40, so four more. So plus four twelfths, and then I'll go ahead and circle all of my whole numbers. One, two, three. So I'm going to write that as three holes, and then four twelfths. So three and four twelfths is my final answer. So I actually have a highlighter here, so I'm going to go ahead and just highlight my answers. And I'll do number two as an example, and then you guys will try the rest on your own. So for number two, nine times one-fourth. So that would be nine times one over four. Nine times one is nine, nine-fourths. So over here I'll skip count by fours, four, eight. So that's the closest I can get to nine. So I can make one, two whole numbers. So that would be four fourths plus another four fourths, which is eight fourths, and I would need one more to get to nine fourths. So I'm going to go ahead and circle my whole numbers. So I've got one, two, so my whole number is two, and I'll stick the fraction that's left over as one-fourth. So two and one-fourth is my mixed number. So what I want you to do is please pause the video and you're going to try 3, 7, 9, 11, 13, and 15 on your own. And when you're done, please press play on the video and check your work. Welcome back, everybody. I hope that being on day three that this was pretty easy peasy for you guys at this point. So let's go ahead and check our work. So number three, five times three fifths would be five times three over a denominator of five. Five times three is 15 and 15 fifths. So if I skip count by fives, five, 10, 15, I can get exactly 15. So you can also look at this as 15 divided by 5, which is 3, or I can skip count to find what my whole number is, 1, 2, 3. So the answer here would be 3, and there is no fraction part left over. Let's take a look at number seven. So number seven, I've got 12 times 1 fifth, so that would be 12 times 1 over 5, which equals 12 fifths. And I'm going to see how many whole numbers I can make. So my denominator stays 5, so I've got 5 fifths plus another 5 fifths because I'm not up to 12 yet. 5 plus 5 is 10. So I can't do another 5 because that would be more than 12. So to get from 10 to 12, I would need two more, so two more fifths. And here I'm going to circle all the whole numbers I can make. 1, 2, so that's going to be my whole number. So that would be 2, and I'm going to stick the leftover fraction piece next to it two-fifths. 
So my answer there would be 2 and 2 fifths. Number 9. 4 times 2 thirds. So I've got 4 times 2 over 3. So 4 times 2 is 8 and my denominator is 3. So let's see how many whole numbers I can make. So my denominator is 3, so that would be 3 thirds is one whole number, plus another 3 thirds, because 3 plus 3 is 6, so I'm not at 8 yet. But if I do another 3 thirds, that would be 9, that would be too much. So to get from 6 to 8 would be 2 more thirds. And I will go ahead and circle all my whole numbers, 3 thirds and 3 thirds. I can't circle 2 thirds because that is not a whole. So I have one, two whole numbers, and two-thirds is my fraction that is left over. So let me go ahead and highlight my answer. And number 11, we've got eight times five six. So my numerator I'm going to rewrite as eight times five with my denominator of six. Eight times five is forty and forty six. So I have some room down here so I'm going to skip count by sixes. Six, twelve, eighteen, twenty four, thirty, thirty six. And that's as close as I can get. So I know that that would be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So my whole number is going to be 6. And let's see how many 6 I have left over. So to go from 36 to 40, 37, 38, 39, 40. So that would be 4 more. Excuse my very large fingers there. So the answer is 6 and 4, 6. And if you want to try the other ones at the top and send me a screenshot of them, I'd be happy to check them over for you. And here at the bottom, let's finish this up. For number 13, calculate the length of a scarf with five sections if each section is one half. So I'm going to go ahead and draw a picture of this. So I've got five sections. So that's one section, two sections, three sections, four sections, five sections. And each section is a half foot long. So each section in here is a half, a half, a half, a half, and a half. So I can see that one half is repeated one, two, three, four, five times. So I can write that as five times one half, which is five halves. So I can see from my picture, one half plus one half, that makes one whole. Another one half plus one half makes one whole and then I've got one half left over. So five halves is equivalent to one, two, two, and one half. I could have also done what we were doing up top, is see how many halves I can make into one whole. So two halves plus two halves, that's four and I would need one more half to get to five. So I will go ahead and circle all the whole numbers, one, two. So that would be two holes, one, two, which I wrote right there, and one half left over. So let me go ahead and highlight that. And our last one for today is number 15. Calculate the distance Nathan rides his bike if he rides 9 twelfths mile each day for three days. So, for three days, he's riding 9 
twelfths. So that's three times nine twelfths. So I'm going to rewrite that as three times nine over twelve or twenty seven. Three times nine is twenty seven. Twenty seven twelfths. So let me go ahead and skip count by twelves. I've got twelve and then 24, and that's the closest I'm going to get. So I can make one, two whole numbers. One, so 12 twelfths plus 12 twelfths, that's 24, and to get to 27, I would need three more twelfths, plus three twelfths. So I've got one, two, so my whole number is two, and the fraction left over is 3 twelfths. So I'll go ahead and highlight that. And that is it. So if you are not caught up, this is the last assignment for math before spring break. So if you have some time over spring break and you're not caught up, try to get caught up and I will still be checking my email and dojo messages so if you have questions over spring break about your math please feel free to reach out um, I hope that you all have a wonderful day and I miss you miss you miss you and um, take care bye, bye everyone